Ever wondered how password cracking works? Well, the secret often lies in a powerful tool named after a rather infamous character, John the Ripper. A fascinating world of cryptography and security awaits, so let's dive right in. John the Ripper, often abbreviated as JTR, is a renowned password cracking tool. It's an open source software, which means it's freely available to anyone with an internet connection. Its primary function? To detect weak passwords. It's a password auditor's best friend, as well as a hacker's favorite tool. But how does one harness its power? The first step to using John the Ripper is to install it. It's compatible with several operating systems, including Linux, Windows, and MacOS. The installation process is straightforward. For Linux users, the command line is your playground. Simply type in sudo app get install john, press enter and you're good to go. Now that John the Ripper is installed, it's time to put it to work. The tool operates in two distinct stages, password hashing and password cracking. The first stage involves creating a hash of the password. This is a unique, fixed-size bit string that represents the original password. John the Ripper uses this hash to compare with the hashes of potential password guesses. The second stage is the actual password cracking. John the Ripper cycles through combinations of characters at an impressive speed, creating hashes for each combination. When it finds a match with the original password hash, voila, the password is cracked. There are several modes that John the Ripper operates in, including single crack mode, wordless mode, and incremental mode. Each mode offers a different approach to password cracking and the choice of mode depends on the complexity of the password and the time available. Single crack mode is the fastest method, ideal for cracking simple passwords. It uses the login names and users' information to generate potential passwords. Word list mode, on the other hand, uses a list of common passwords. It's a bit slower than single crack mode but can be effective for cracking more complex passwords. Incremental mode is the slowest but most thorough method. It uses a brute force approach, trying every possible combination of characters until it finds a match. In summary, John the Ripper is a powerful and flexible tool for password cracking. It's free, open source, and compatible with multiple operating systems. It operates in two stages, password hashing and cracking, and offers several modes of operation to suit different password complexities and time constraints. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use John the Ripper ethically for legitimate password auditing and security purposes. After all, the goal is to strengthen security, not to exploit it. So, next time you find yourself wondering about password cracking, remember John the Ripper. It's your gateway into a world of cryptography, security, and password auditing.